Hi, I'm Dr. Neil Renault, optometrist at Eagle Eye Performance Vision, where we specialize in vision therapy. And today's video is all about therapeutic lenses. Before we get started, make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned for more content as we post more and more related to vision therapy and helping you understand vision therapy better. Therapeutic lenses. These are these are glasses, but they're different from regular glasses. Most people are, that are wearing glasses, you, they are just trying to see clearer. Therapeutic lenses really help you function better. They help your eyes work better together. They help eliminate a lot of visual symptoms that patients can be dealing with. And some of those symptoms could be uh, problems with reading, like eye strain, headaches, lots of sensitivity to screens. They could see double vision or blurry vision when they're reading. Maybe it's it's when you're up and moving around. So that's balance problems or mobility, people who drift a lot or they cannot quite stay upright. They're very clumsy and accident prone because they don't see everything in their peripheral vision. Or they, it could be a motion problem, like, uh, like being in a car, car sick, or visual sensitivity, like light sensitivity, or motion sensitivity when when you're in a grocery store. Some people, they really cannot tolerate going to the grocery store because they see so much motion in their vision. So all of these all of these symptoms, we can look at resolving or improving them through a therapeutic lens prescription. Therapeutic lenses or glasses, they are, they are actually part of vision therapy. They are passive vision therapy in our office where the patient is wearing glasses all day long or in the certain scenarios that they're struggling with, like put their reading glasses on for reading. So this prescription constantly promotes the right way to use your eyes and use your vision. And these are often not permanent either, especially as we improve the problem, then a patient can be, they can kind of wean off or taper off of those glasses because as you improve the problem, you don't necessarily need them, need the glasses anymore for help. Kind of like as you, if you need crutches to walk better after an ankle sprain, as your ankle recovers, then you don't really need those crutches anymore. They kind of get in your way and you want to just walk on your own. That's the time that we can take off the therapeutic lenses and make them not a permanent solution, but a an avenue to kickstart you in the right direction towards where you don't need them in the future quite as much or at all. So how do we find the right therapeutic prescription? The tricky thing is these, these prescriptions we go with here in our office, they are not really like one size fits all. Uh, they, two people with the two of the same visual dysfunctions could have two totally different lenses that they like. So it's really all trial and error. It's kind of like going and trying on a new pair of shoes. Uh, you want to get up and move around. You want to go try out those shoes. You want, if you're, they're running shoes, you want to jog through the store and see how they feel. Same thing with glasses. You know, the eye exam starts in a chair and it should end with you moving throughout the space and feeling how these glasses are going to work for you. So we need to trial them and see which one you like the best. So thinking of the history of lenses, we have had this nice machine around for over 200 years. This is a wonderful invention. You see them in most eye exams, but it's a little bit outdated now. There are problems with this when you when the doctor is asking you what's better, one or two, one or two, one or two, over and over. The optometrist is putting you through various different lenses to see which one your right eye and your left eye see best with. The problem with it is you're doing one eye at a time, so one eye is covered. When you do that, you lose your depth perception. When you have your all of your peripheral vision blocked off, you're basically creating tunnel vision. And you are sitting, you're not moving, and you're looking at a static target that's not moving either. So this prescription that works great here and great here maybe doesn't work so well when we are like this and up moving around and playing sports and in dynamic postures. For most people, this works perfectly fine. For some people who just can't quite get the right prescription or they maybe they see 2020 but their eyes don't feel like they work the way they used to or the way they should, then that's where there's limitations here that we can go beyond just the standard eye exam and start looking at different solutions with lenses. So we have tons of different lenses in our office. Um, a, a behavior and developmental optometrists will often bust out lots of different handheld lenses. So these are prisms that we'll try on with the patient. Prisms, they shift light into different directions and they can expand and compre compress space shift in different directions into a place that the patient is more comfortable with. We may use different lenses for minification and magnification and try different powers or even use different tints where some patients are very light sensitive and uh, going beyond just regular sunglasses, they may respond better to certain colors and certain uh, wavelengths of light differently than, than uh, other colors or no color. 
If that's the case, then we can find potentially a prism or, or magnification, minification, tint, or even some occlusion blocking some of your vision to, to help a patient become more comfortable with what they see. That is how we find different lenses and we try all of them. Show them to the patient, hey, how do you feel with this? How do you feel with this? And see what they like the best. So then when we find options that the patient really likes, then we put it all together. We have them put on a trial pair of glasses and then put in the lenses that they enjoy so far, whether it's a, it's a tint or we can uh, put handheld little prisms inside here or different powers of lenses and we can find what they enjoy the best and then have them move around in our office. Maybe they struggle with turning or they tend to drop uh, drift when they're walking in a straight line or they can't read for 20 minutes straight without getting a headache. We repeat all of those different issues and see if they feel any different. See if their light sensitivity goes down. See if they can navigate the curb differently outside. See if, uh, if they have certain activities like sweeping the floor, if they can sweep differently with the lenses on. Then I know through my my testing and seeing the improved tests plus the patient knows through subjective opinions and repeating those uncomfortable scenarios both of us are confident that we found a lens that they like and they can function in so how did we do this how did we help someone who has chronic reading headaches or someone who gets very dizzy just by doing a couple quick turns in our office or very light sensitive when I shine a flashlight at them. How did we eliminate those symptoms just from a, a standard, a small powered lens? There, there's a very profound impact that each lens makes and the patient who is symptomatic with, with uh, discomfort or performance problems through their vision, they are struggling with how light is entering their eyes and then how it, ent it travels from their eyes to their brain. If we can adjust and just change it a little bit into a more comfortable and appropriate and functional method, then their brain can handle that visual challenge much easier. So that's how we figure out what lens works best and how it makes a change is adjusting the way that that light travels through their brain into a way that they handle it easier and more functionally. Then a lot of the visual dysfunctions we diagnose, they also can respond really well to vision therapy too. So more of an active therapeutic approach, doing vision therapy activities to uh, rehabilitate or develop the visual skill that you're struggling with. And then over time, you actually don't need those therapeutic lenses anymore. As you improve the visual skill that you're struggling with, then you don't need that help from the lens as much anymore. So they really work well in tandem together. The lens promoting the right way to use your eyes, vision therapy, actively working on using your eyes the correct way and much more functional approach. So while vision therapy takes time and repetition to change the way your brain uses your eyes, putting on your therapeutic lenses can provide relief right away. And you, you're welcome to get a cool frame and not this goofy yellow one, uh, but you'll have the right lens inside there that helps your eyes function better right away tomorrow and not four months from now. Um, you can, with, with therapeutic lenses, you can perform better in vision therapy. It can allow us to push you further. You could wear it to other, th other therapies. If you're in physical therapy or occupational therapy or other therapies like that, they can push you further without making you symptomatic. Um, and you can even use in your activities of daily living. Wear these glasses at work on the computer. Wear these glasses while you're driving so you don't get car sick. Wear these glasses to the grocery store so that you don't get so overwhelmed and confused and lost in that very visually busy space. So these lenses will help you feel better right away while you are putting in the work through vision therapy to fix the problem permanently. So who are we looking for with, with therapeutic lenses? Really anyone who has been always struggling getting their glasses prescription right. They, they just never really feel like their two eyes work together with their glasses prescription. Or maybe you have 20-20 eyesight, but you have a feeling your eyes just don't work together. They, the right and the left eye are, are not coordinated working together. Uh, maybe your parent who, who uh, your child has always passed the vision screening or the basic eye exam, but you're wondering if there's more to it, why they struggle with reading and, the, and it's so uncomfortable for them. Or even if you've had a brain injury, a concussion or, or a stroke, or you're wondering, does, does my vision work the same way that it used to, or have I lost something that I need to rehabilitate? All of those are great scenarios where someone could benefit from beyond just regular glasses, but a therapeutic lens. That, that improves their visual function and coordination between each eye. So if you feel like therapeutic lenses is the next step for you, then the first step is to give us a call. We can start with, a, with going through your visual symptoms and seeing if it's something we can help with. If you're looking for someone in your area, still give us a call because I have a large network of optometrists who, who specialize in this type of developmental and behavioral vision care. And finding the right lens is, it takes a lot of training, certification, 
experience. Most most optometrists and most eye care, eye care providers don't have a lot of training in this type of prescribing and finding the right lens. So, um, you know, we can help you find someone nearby or come and see us and we can find that glasses prescription that'll just make you feel so much better. So give us a call, get started there. Uh, and thank you for watching this video. If you know anyone who you think could benefit from, from therapeutic lenses, make sure to share this video with them and, and help them find the solution. Thanks a lot.